Hey, this is Berm Chasen. I'm out at Percy Warner Park. Gonna ride some new trails today. Should be fun. It's been a while since I've been here. So, uh, brought out the full squish, the new helmet. Let's see how it goes. I got out to the trails around 7 a.m. It started off great. There were some fast flowy sections, loose rocks, tight turns, tree ducks, and some narrow passageways. But not all of it went according to plan. Go fast! Because what do you do if you crash at the start of a new trail? You certainly don't slow down. Look at all those spiders. It's disgusting. It's terrible. No. All right. Well, this part's not fun. Too many spiders. Oh, this is terrible. We gotta get out of here. Oh man, there's just so many of them. Ow! That's the one thing making this trail slightly less fun. It seemed like most bikers were taking Boulevard up to the new trails. Hookman Hill Loop was way less traveled. It's a blue trail and I still had a good time. It was just way better once the spiders were gone. With nothing too surprising and just a few features that'll jump out at you, it was a blast, but I was quickly ready to move on to other things. I have more intruders.
This dry riverbed and rock roll were pretty fun. Unfortunately, the spiders and their webs continued to terrorize. Went through a big spider web. It's gotten too bad. Reverting. It's a different method. I saw something similar to this on Seth's bike hacks, so it was worth a shot. And in the end, it worked pretty well. But it's definitely easier to just wait for someone to go ahead of you on the trail. Thought there would be other bikers here. So we just turn right, go down the green trail. Supposedly this is gonna lead to the two new trails that are here out of Percy. Hopefully someone's already ridden this so there's no spiders. Sick. Another bridge. This is awesome. That was a little bit of a climb. A little skinny. Short. Here. Got another way to the new trails? Up here. This way? A little climb. Sweet. Follow you guys.
You know how they say, pre-ride, re-ride, free ride. I got through the first step of that today. After a quick ride back to the top, it was time to go down the blue. So both of the trails are pretty fun. Wabash Cannonball is awesome. If you don't want to hit any lippy jumps, just want some rollers. It's pretty loose though, so you gotta be careful not to slip out. The climb back up's not too bad. You work for it, sweat a little at the top, and then ride down. That screaming demon. It's pretty difficult. I definitely wanted some gloves. I feel my hands slipping. But I'm probably gonna hit that one again once I get to the top of this climb. <laughs> 